recording. Yes, all right, we are good. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, everybody, welcome to Awareness Wednesday Prime Time. We are your host, Reggie and Victoria welcome. Flanagan. All right, are we live there? Mm -hmm. All right, turn it down. Yep, we're good. Just checking to make sure it's coming up on our feed. So we are good. So welcome to Awareness Wednesday Prime Time, everybody. You are we are your host again, Reggie Victoria Flanagan out of New Jersey. And thank you guys for joining us. You are co hosts as always. So thank you for being here this evening. So before we get started on our topic of discussion, I'm going to pass it over to this urchin, this young lady to my left here, my amazing wife, Mrs. Victoria Flanagan. She's going to talk to you on why this platform is important to her. All right, Victoria, take it away. Hey, fam. Hey, fam. I just love this platform. I find something I got to bring it to my family. I want everybody to stay informed. And I want you to do a little bit of research on your own. It's out there. It's You got to look for it. But I've done the work for you, so just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she has. As you guys who have been on this platform many times, you can brighten that one. Uh, we have done this many times, many, many topics of discussion. And this okay. one that we're going to do tonight is extremely important, extremely important, you know, because there's so much going on uh, around our country, around the world. We got high blood pressure on the rise, diabetes Everything. on the rise, you know, cancer, obesity, uh, heart conditions, you, you name, name it. it. We all name all it. It's there. all up there. But, you know, we are a solution of information that can help you make a decision on how you can get your life and health better. I like to say good or all right, so we're going to do that. So let's go into our topic, which is serving God with healthy mind, body, and spirit. And our scripture is always, beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. That's 3 John 1 and 2. Our subject today, as you can see, how sugar impacts your health. Yeah. Think about it. Who do you know that's being affected by sugar? That's everybody. Everybody. Because sugar is in everything. Things you didn't think sugar would be in, it's in it. It's disguised by di many different names, but it's in it. And we're consuming way too much glass. I mean, sugar. <laughs> Tell them, Rich. <laughs> too much in our blood. And it's causing a whole lot of issues, especially in our black and brown communities where the numbers are you off the chart. Better, and our better. children now being affected by all of this as well, uh, what they're putting in this temple God gave us. So let's get started. I'm going to pass it back over to the urchin, the certified health coach. My better seven eight, because that's why I call it, because she does all this research. She got paperwork everywhere, documentation everywhere, because she really gets in deep to get us all this good, effective information we can use in the workplace. I mean, in our workplace, or you know, out in the field, in the marketplace, we can use these things, these items that can help us understand more the importance of how it is affecting us. So, Victoria, take it away. The floor is yours, my dear. I just want to hit, I want to tell everybody, hit that share button. Yeah, hit that share. Hit this that like and hit that share button because we number should got be through the to rules. definitely share this yep. out. Don't sit on this information, family. I'm not looking this up for my help. I'm, I'm trying to help. But we got to do better than what we're doing. I know everybody wants to jumpstart 2024, but we have, if we know better, we can do better. So that's what this whole platform is about, making you aware. That's why we call it Awareness Wednesday, Indeed. keeping you aware. And I got some good topics coming up for 2024. So let's jump right in here. We're talking about sugar today, sugar. Sugar consumption is at an all-time high. It's at an all-time high, family. And it is making us very, very unhealthy, so much so that the group of scientists from University of California have recently recommended that the use of sugar be regulated by the same way alcohol and tobacco in the United States are being regulated. Hmm. So that should tell you something right there. What is going on? What's going on? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm here yep. to tell What's you. What's going on? Sugar as a control substance. It is a control substance. Say that again. Sugar is a control substance. Sounds like a drug to you, don't it? Yeah. Because it is. <laughs> it is, family. They say one out one in three Americans will have diabetes by the year of 2050. Think about that. They already know. How do they know one in three is going to have diabetes by the year oh, of 2050? They know, based on the statistics that they have right now, they know the track record and the trend that is taken. They know exactly what's going to be, if not higher than those numbers. Tell them, Rich. I'm serious. It's easy to track. Oh, yeah. It's let's easy keep to pumping track, it. right? Keep let's keep pumping this. Let's keep pumping this stuff Absolutely. in and keep them sick. 
you know, we're going to be wealthy and continue making all, uh, it's, it's terrible. That's just, it's the system. It, it, it it's is. The system. It's, it's about we're follow that money. System. Like she always says, you I always exactly say it, follow on. the money and you can, they'll tell you exactly, exactly what's going on. So here we go. Sugar is killing us slowly, slowly killing us. And not, they're not even hiding it anymore. It's right there in front of your very eyes. So at San Francisco School of Medicine, the typical American now swallows the equivalent of 22 sugar cubes every 24 hours. That means the average woman, listen, the average woman eats 70 pounds. That's nearly half of her body weight mm -hmm. of straight sugar each year. That is crazy. Half of their body weight. So sugar can wreak havoc on your body. Over time, the havoc can lead to diabetes, obesity, and also Alzheimer's disease, breast cancer, and colon cancer. That's right. from sugar family, sugar. So it states that, this is what he was talking about. Excessive sugar is a major cause of non-alcoholic fatty liver in our children which can lead to liver disease in our children. So children should never, ever, ever drink soda. Never. Ever. Ever. Tell them why, Red. Let me tell you something. Sugar what, is, what I do mean. We watch? What do we watch? Yeah, we were watching this program. and it It's was called talking, Sugar. It's called Sugar. And it, and it was showing how so many kids, children, infants, I mean, you're talking one, two-year-old, when they start getting their teeth. Two and three-year-olds. You know, coming in already teeth are already rotted because of the ingesting of sugar of, of soda soda what they're giving kids like mm -hmm. crazy not brushing their teeth not washing their mouth out just let them drink as much soda as they can and here babies. is these young babies two and three years old at the dentist's office getting all their baby teeth removed because they're they're, they're so corroded and that's poison to the body so it have to come out so now these little babies got to go through this devastation it on something terrible. that we did to them by giving them this mess. Give it was them soda. terrible. I'm telling you. Two, three, and two and three year olds getting their, getting teeth, their teeth extracted. Removed. How terrible. Do, how, you got to put a baby to sleep to pull their teeth. Mm -hmm. but All then, of them, not just one. How do they react after they come out of that right. novocaine? Their mouths are sore. What can they eat? Exactly. They can't eat this. They can't That's eat that. One irritable that, baby. Oh, not only just that baby, you as well. And, it's, and they showed it too as they were pulling the teeth. Just put them, them out. The putting them they up on the table. They have to take them out. They have to. That's how bad it was. So because soda they bother is dangerous. The kids yeah. The, the children it's have painful. They're teeth. drinking. They have yeah. Things. They have toothaches too. Think about it. They the, have toothaches the just as well as we do. It was terrible. It was bad. And they were just pulling these babies' teeth. Pulling these. And the numbers teeth. are going through the roof. And it's and it's not getting any better. No. So that's why I'm saying we have to stay aware of what's going on. So it's, children exactly. should never ever have soda. You know, Never. some of these mothers are put soda in their in their baby bottles and just give it to the kids it's and let horrible. them run it with really it. It really is. You got to watch that program. It's called Sugar, Sugar. by Dr. Robert Lesney. Exactly. And they're saying that little... they're seeing more <clears throat> cases of children mm -hmm. than they've ever seen before. Ever before. Because they put more sugar in everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's bad. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. And it when sure it's starting is. affecting the children now, we know we got to do something. That's why we're speaking about it. So that's why we're talking about this, this sugar today. We are sweetening ourselves sick, yet we are screaming for more because mm -hmm. sugar is in everything. We are seriously hooked on sugar. Research, research shows that the hype sweet foods may be as, as addictive as the hardest to quit drugs. Think about that. You heard that. <laughs> Wow. These foods that have the sugar content in it are hard to kick. That's a hard habit to break. Sugar is eight times addictive as heroin. Yeah, mm -hmm. I said it. It's in the report. Yep. Sugar yeah, right. it's, is it's, eight it's, it's times online. You can look addictive it up yourself. as heroin. That's right. Sugar is right. a drug. Because it affects the same part of the brain that drugs do. The exact same part of the brain. That's why it's addictive. That's why you want and crave for that sweet, that taste. And I can tell you, it's not getting better. Did you read my report? Because that was next. Oh, no, I it's didn't. A, <laughs> no, it's I didn't. a surge of dopamine that mm -hmm. feel good neurotransmitters See, in is. your brain reward center. Repeated spikes 
can desensitize that center, which could release less and less dopamine, leaving you needing more and more sugar exactly. to get that which same Which is right fix. at the base of the brain. That sugar right is there. a drug family. It's a drug. These are the same brain patterns you see during a drug addiction. There, I said it. Hmm. Sugar has withdrawal symptoms as well. Try to get, I got a whole book right here. Detoxing from sugar. Detoxing from sugar. It's a real thing. <laughs> People need help to get off of the sugar. Hmm. So it says the uh, withdrawal symptoms, they can have anxiety. You can be very, very lethargic. You can be irritable, poor concentration. You can suffer from headaches, sadness, and even depression. Depression. Recommended mm -hmm. recommendations you should have six tablespoons of of sugar a day. Wait a minute, where's that down mm -hmm. here? For a woman, let me just jump on down here. Health risk for excessive sugar. It says this extra sugar may be added to your waistline as well as putting your heart at risk. Research shows that excessive sugar consumption can be associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease. That's your heart. The American Heart Association recommends limiting added sugar consumption. 25 grams of sugar per day for a woman. That's six teaspoons mm. a day. That's it. Mm. For men, 36 grams of sugar per day for men. That's nine teaspoons for men. Mm -hmm. For children, it should be four. Four teaspoons a day of sugar for children. And that's still a lot. That, if you add up all of the sugar content that you, from the morning to the evening, and how much sugar you take, it, and you wonder why your waistline looked the way it does. So knowing where your sugar may be hiding can help you meet these goals hmm. and beat the added sugars that is a hide and seek game. So they're putting sugar in everything. They are. Just to lure you in, to get you addicted to it. Lure you in, get you addicted to it. So you got to have it week after week after week after week. Everything has sugar in it. Everything. So it also states the average American eats about 15 teaspoons of added sugar. You got to look for the sugar content and then you got to look for the added sugars. Because that's they're both on the label. How much sugar is in there? And then added sugars. So most of it is hidden within your processed foods that people don't even realize mm -hmm. that they're eating. All this sugar may be a key factor in several major illnesses that's out there, including heart disease, diabetes, the top, the top ones. Sugar goes by many different names. I have a list here of 75 different mm -hmm. names for sugar. You don't know your sugar intake until you know what you're looking for. You're just looking for sugar. And most don't know. Most don't they know. Don't. It's so they many different names for sugar. Some Something that you think may not have sugar in it may loaded. be in it. Loaded. But it's under a different loaded. name. Let me just see if I can find that list real quick. Here's one. It was another one here, 75. This got 56 names of sugar. Mm -hmm. This, this one. one has 75 different names of sugar. You got agave Hold nectar. Let them, see, let them see this okay. real quick. Look at oh, that. 75. This is all different names of sugar right here. So and most people will not, not look at this any, and know that. Right. If you're thinking you're not consuming right. sugar, you are. You got agave nectar. You got Barbados sugar, barley malt, barley malt syrup, beet sugar, brown sugar, butter syrup and they're all in alphabetical order Correct. you got cane juice cane juice crystals cane sugar caramel castor sugar coconut palm sugar and the list goes oh, on oh. and on and on from a to y yellow mm -hmm. sugar <laughs> white grated sugar but there's sugar in everything family and until you know the names and how to identify it you don't know how much sugar you're taking in. And yes, this is available online. You can Google it. The you different names of sugar and look Googleable. it up. And say, it is Googleable. That's right. You know, I'll get ready to come with that. It is Absolutely. Googleable. It's Googleable. But they also say that sugar can act as a poison in high doses, just like a drug, mm -hmm. right? 
And here's the thing. Hold on one second. Go ahead, babe. And it's in alphabetical order. I'm glad she mentioned that. So print that out for yourself. Go download and get the alphabetical version of it. Carry and take your, it with you. Carry Close your your copy copies with you. in your pocketbook. If you're looking to reduce sugar in your diet, you want to make sure that what you're buying, have it. See if, see if anything ends up on that list of what you're purchasing that you don't think of sugar. Or go in your refrigerator and just get you a highlighter and flip it over and highlight all the names that you find on that list in one product. There you It'll go. blow your mind for real. So sugar can act like a poison in high doses. And the amount of it, amount of it in our diets has gone way beyond the toxic level. Mm -hmm. So that just goes you why all these illnesses are as high as they are. Diabetes is off the chart. Reggie was saying there's a dialysis center that's 24 hours a day. That mm -hmm. is insane to me. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure cholesterol levels, all these numbers are through the roof. If you've been here and heard these presentations, the numbers are through the roof. And we talk about, you know, because, you know, the dialysis uh, clinics, you know, a patient has to be on there six to eight hours at a time. Crazy. So if you got X amount of people that's diabetics that need that, how can you shut down your business? Exactly. That's why a lot of them are going to that stage where they're, they're running overnight. They have to. Wow. Because of the length of time it takes to filter one's blood. One okay. session can last you six to eight hours for dialysis. That's crazy. That's, That's all lot. day. Mm -hmm. That's all day. You can't do nothing because you're sitting on dialysis. Correct. Now I have, uh, this one has 11 reasons why too much sugar is bad. This one has a negative effects of mm -hmm. high fructose corn syrup. So we're going to jump over here on this one. Number one is obesity. Sugar mm -hmm. can make you fat. High fructose corn syrup limits the body's ability to produce insulin and leptin, making it difficult to metabolize food and regulate your appetite. Yes. The pancreas remains insulin resistant to all types of fructose, including high fructose corn syrup, severely hindering your appetite control. So you just want to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and now you're obese. Mm -hmm. The next one is diabetes. Due to obesity, and the irregular uh, fluctuation of your insulin, high fructose corn syrup can lead to diabetes in many people. Mm -hmm. Continual pancreas damage remains the main cause of diabetes. The next one is tooth decay. That's what he was just talking about. Tooth infections and decay. Rich foods and sugar and sweeteners like high fructose corn syrup will rotten your teeth mm -hmm. and decaying the enamel coating. Because it's like acid. Sugar. Mm -hmm. It's an acid. The next mm -hmm. one is your LDL cholesterol. That's your bad cholesterol. Your triglyceride increase. Sugar metabolizes into fat, therefore increasing the unhealthy cholesterol levels along with the fat storage in mm -hmm. your body. That's your LDL. Now your, your cholesterol is high. Your, your blood pressure is high. It's, it all mm. works together, family. All works together. Also, it can increase your risk of heart attack and heart disease. High amounts of, of high fructose corn syrup often result in higher cholesterol, which in turn blocks your arteries mm -hmm. and the flow of blood to and from your heart. This process weakens the heart muscles and the ability to, for new oxygen to circulate throughout your body. The increase in fat storage also harms your heart health. Yes, it so does. now you got fat around your heart. Just think about it, family. You are what you eat. You are what you absorb. There you go. The next one is anemia. How many women you know that are anemic? Sugar can make you anemic. In order for your body to digest high fructose corn syrup and other sugars that contain no vitamins, no minerals, you must use other storages for a viable nutrient depleting your body of its natural amounts. Hmm. That's why you are anemic. Your mm -hmm. blood, your blood mm -hmm. is not getting, your body is not getting everything that it needs. Also, sugar also worsens, ladies, hot flashes. Uh-oh, <laughs> anybody going through hot flashes? I'm just saying. It may be your trigger. Also, poor immunity, high fructose corn syrup, we all know it depletes your immune system. Mm -hmm. The enzymes in your body that normally defend major diseases. So that's sugar. Lack of calories, high fructose corn syrup, half of these things are just lack of calories. Even though foods that contain high levels of fructose corn syrup provide a ton of calories, those calories have no 
no, no nutritional value <laughs> at all. <laughs> I just have to say that. Then the next one is fatigue. Sugar can make you tired. High levels of sugar causes your body to release greater amounts of hormones and endorphins. And then after you get that <laughs> sugar high, what's going to happen? You're going to crash. Exactly. I hear you, Pastor V. No, no, <laughs> no, private, no, no private summer, she said, over here. <laughs> I know, that's right. And then sugar can throw you into mood swings. Mood swings and withdrawals. If you try to come off of sugar without that proper health, <laughs> you're going to be a monster. <laughs> Too much sugar and high toast, fructose corn syrup can cause your body to crave even more. And here's the thing. And when, too. Wait a minute, sorry, and when trying to cut back, the desire and cravings only increase. You just yep, want indeed. more and more and more and more. I'm just going to touch on, you know, <laughs> when you have those who are addicts, like when addicted to the drugs, they can't get that fix. You notice they go for cookies, things that they are high in sugar. sugar. Because it, it gives them that desire because of the same part of the brain it affects. So that mm -hmm. sugar is a key component to relieving that withdrawal until they can get what they want so sugar is, is up there it's bad it, it really sure is. is it is also linked to acne mm -hmm. high sugar diets can increase your antigen secretion oil production inflammation all which can raise the risk of developing acne who walking around with acne and you 54 mm -hmm. it can happen uh let's see sugar also ages you Tell your telomeres shorten, which increase your cellular aging. I mm -hmm. was talk, telling them about telomeres. Telomeres are like shoe, shoe strings. strings. And they're mm -hmm. on the inside of your body, on, like uh, on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. And once they start to fray, you start to age. Right. So you want your telomeres to, to be, be tight, tight. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, all the time. Also, sugar can, call fatty, can cause fatty liver. Fructose is almost exclusively broken down by your liver. Fat builds up in your liver. This is why our children, and I got this from my own doctor. Mm -hmm. Children are coming down with fatty, non-alcoholic liver disease. Think about that. That's children. just like cirrhosis of it the liver, exactly but like it's that. in children. Yeah. It's happening, family. Mm -hmm. It's truly, truly happening. So they're you got more children that have liver disease. Think about the teens. Teens mm -hmm. don't think that nothing can bother them, but the same thing is happening to our teens. Right. So you got to pay attention to these things. Mm -hmm. So other health risks, it in sugar also increases kidney disease, negatively impacts your dental health. We talked about that. Can increase your risk of developing gout as well. It raises your uric, uh, uric acid levels. Also, it uh, accelerates your cognitive decline. So you are more impaired for memory linked, memory linked to increased dementia. Mm -hmm. We talked mm -hmm. about that dementia, sugar, sugar, <laughs> sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> okay. How you can reduce your intake of sugar. Just Maybe. don't eat. <laughs> no, for real you're gonna put ice cubes on your plate that's it that's your dinner let me just talk let Think me this. just let me just tip on this really really quick mm -hmm. uh there's a, a main sugar out there it's called aspartame aspartame is like major one of the the worst sugars that's on the market is aspartame right. so dozens of studies have linked aspartame to the world's most widely used artificial sweeteners to a serious health problem, including cancers, heart disease, Alzheimer's, seizures, stroke, dementia, as well as negative effects on your intestinal, your mood disorders, headaches, and even migraines mm. from aspartame. A lot of these sodas have aspartame in it. A lot of these fruit juices are loaded with aspartame. aspartame. They are. That's why I said that list, aspartame is on that list. You got to know the sugars that you're intaking. People wonder why I, I, I beat cancer or then the cancer came back. What are you eating? What are mm -hmm. you feeding mm -hmm. that cancer? So the symptoms is breath. This is the symptoms of eating aspartame. Breathlessness, elevated blood pressure, Skipped or racing hearts. This is from sugar, aspartame. Gastral and intestinal symptoms. People often experience upset stomach, 
diarrhea, possibly bloody stool, abdominal pain, painful swallowing when using aspartame. Mm -hmm. Aspartame. Aspartame contains four calories per gram, similar to sugar, but however, aspartame is what? 200 times sweeter. Than sugar. Mm -hmm. Aspartame. 200 times sweeter. Aspartame. That's right. I have a so demonstration here of Just some aspartame. Y'all recognize those, right? You recognize right? those colors? All right. Aspartame. <laughs> you're better off, if you're going to do that, you're better off, you know, eating white cane sugar, regular sugar, or, than that. Or carry your own little sugar. Yeah, like these. Stevia raw. Right. Stevia raw. Little, they can go with you. You can buy a whole box of them mm -hmm. from uh, Costco's. So that's aspartame. Those mm -hmm. are some side effects from eating aspartame. Aspartame is dangerous, family. So here's some things I wanted to share. Uh, this is what we were talking about, the sugar content. If you go in your refrigerator, if you got barbecue sauce, I don't think sugar. I had the name down there. There's 15 grams of sugar in barbecue sauce. And 15 grams. If, That's if you, in two tablespoons. Correct. If you if you can give an analogy, right. you know, you guys have seen the small square cubes of sugar you see on some gourmet restaurants table instead of regular, you know, granular dish, you're going to have the cubes there, right? One of those cubes is equivalent to one gram of sugar. So y'all seen those cubes. That's one gram. So imagine that in your beverages that you're eating. And you're going to see these numbers in just a minute. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Ketchup, nine grams of sugar. So that's nine cubes and, of that sugar. And that's in two tablespoons. Who's measuring two Think tablespoons of ketchup? Everybody just go yep. all over their fries. <laughs> so yep. you know you're eating way more than you should. Now the fries have sugar already fried into it. And you're putting more sugar on it with the ketchup. Sugar, then sugar. Then you wonder why your stomach hurts. <laughs> You got <laughs> breakfast bars, 25 grams of sugar. 21 cubes. Pasta sauce, that's spaghetti sauce, 12 grams of sugar. 12 cubes. You got fruit flavored yogurt, 31 grams of sugar. That's 31 cubes. Okay. <laughs> and I did this right before, I, I did this right before we went live here today. It says in our refrigerator, this is my refrigerator right now. I eat a lot of salads. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me pull some of my salad dressings and check the sugar content. There's one that I, I just recently found that I really, really love. And it's excellent on kale salad. That's the poppy seeds. That's the poppy seeds. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a kale salad at Costco's. You can buy it already packed. It comes with the cranberries and it come with sesame seeds and you can just mix everything together and then the dressing that comes with it is poppy seed dressing so i like the dressing so i went out and bought some so it has seven grams of sugar and seven grams of added sugar see that so that's 14 percent of sugar that's in that poppy seed salad dressing what kind of added sugar i don't know so the next one was uh Creamy Caesar. Caesar, a creamy Caesar dressing. Mm -hmm. I like all kinds of salad dressing. That has one gram of sugar and one added gram of sugar. One added mm -hmm. sugar, one gram. So that's 2%. Mm -hmm. My Italian dressing, two grams of sugar, two grams of added sugar. Mm -hmm. Miracle Whip, we use Miracle Whip. We're not mayonnaise people. Right. One gram of sugar and one gram of added sugar. Mm -hmm. And it does have... Uh, High fructose corn syrup in our Miracle Whip. Three grams. I found it. So it's, it brings it up to three grams. Okay, we have chicken broth in the refrigerator. No sugar, no sugar Correct. added at all. Yeah. Hot sauce, no, no sugar. sugar. Our four C grated cheese, no, no sugar. sugar. Now ketchup, there's four grams of sugar and four added sugar, four grams of added sugar mm -hmm. to ketchup. Your French spicy brown mustard that he puts that on everything no, <laughs> no sugar, sugar. <laughs> now our grandson was just here and i bought two juices orange juice and cranberry juice orange juice 22 grams of sugar mm -hmm. orange juice now some of that is the natural sugar of the orange some but remember some of these juices are from concentrate exactly remember that so a lot of it is boiled and added sugar to it absolutely the next one was cranberry juice. 
28 grams of mm -hmm. sugar. So, and added sugar, 23 more grams. Wow. So that's a 40% sugar intake. Wow. Send so, that backwards, Reggie. Wow. And he left that in the refrigerator. So <laughs> we don't like to throw nothing out. So I'm going to drink that cranberry juice and that orange juice, family. <laughs> One little, little bit of juice he'll be is back not going to hurt me. Yeah, he'll be pour back. Pour it out. No, you don't pour Garbage. stuff out. You give it away. Okay, here we go. No. Reggie uh, has some pictures I want, want to him to now? pull up. Yes. Pull up Family, y'all got to see this and you got to see it for yourself. A lot of people are visual. This are These are some pictures that I pulled off. I think they were on my Facebook page as well. These things show you the sugar content. You have plain water. I don't know if you can see it. It's not coming up minute. on here. Is that going to come up on my phone? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Okay, there we go. Give it a sec. Which one are you gonna show first? Uh, the one that's the coffee one. The coffee one. Now this one is big, family, and this is this this is this is this is news. <laughs> it is. Now this is a, a a name brand coffee establishment. They do very well. They popped up absolutely everywhere. They got their own little spot at the at the mall. But look everywhere. at some of these sugar content. Now it says. Uh, Caramel, caramel frappuccino, 66, 66 grams. grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one right beside it is a light caramel frappuccino, 29, 29 grams. grams of sugar. Do you know how much sugar you're taking in daily? Hmm. Look at the skinny caramel latte, 14 grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. And remember, a woman is only supposed to get 25 grams a day. If you done had that coffee, you're done. You More done, you done. done for two, three you went days. Into the next, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And just plain black coffee, medium roast yep. black coffee Zero with sugar. no sugar. You got to just reevaluate what you are taking in. What's the next slide you have, sir? This one, pumpkin spice. Latte. Oh, I think that was a big thing around Halloween. Oh, Everybody, yeah, is. when is this coming back? When is it coming back? Yep. That's 50 grams of sugar right there itself. Also, the one a roasted gram the latte, gram. that's, the toasted that's gram 40 latte. grams of sugar. But look, nine grams of fat. Mm -hmm. Look at the calories, 300 calories in this. And 210 milligrams sodium. of sodium. Y'all mm -hmm. know sodium is salt. Yep. That whole drink right there, uh, uh, take it down. Look at this, 380 calories. I'm just saying, family, really we just salt. want you to mm -hmm. see what's out there. They're not hiding it anymore. Correct. What's the next one? Here's the next one. I only had a coffee this morning. <laughs> Your black <laughs> coffee, you and then you got a regular coffee right. over here. Look at the black calories. Black coffee, zero. Salted caramel mocha. Look Salted at the calories caramel mocha. in that. 570 calories, 19 grams of fat, 17 grams of That's a whole week, a whole week's meal right there. Wow. 73 grams of sugar. You flying for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. You flying. You're not even going to come down until what? Friday? Next, next Christmas. <laughs> now, 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 these are the cubes I was talking about. Right. See those cubes? How much sugar is in your drink? Think before you drink. Now these the first one that looks monster. like one of monster, a monster drink. energy drink. And I I just did a small report <clears throat> this morning after I did this on these these monster drinks have what they what they call it's um powdered caffeine. Mm -hmm. Powdered caffeine is so much stronger than the liquid caffeine. Two types of caffeines that they're using in these powered drinks, these energy drinks. That's why these speeding up, these kids are into these monkey yeah, you, drinks. Panera Bread, y'all heard about that? What, what do they call that drink? I don't remember that's, even a, what they call it. It's a drink that they have that's been killing people. Yeah. Three people believe I've, I've heard so far that passed yeah. because of that high concentration of uh, caffeine and sugar it's that in this drink. It's that and it tells powdered you, caffeine that they use for exactly. these energy Exactly. It races drinks. your heart to the point where you're to collapsing. No end. To I just no did end. a small report on it today. But look at how many teaspoons of sugar in that drink. 13, 13 and a half. In one drink. And this is a 20 ounce can. So you're getting can so day. you're getting teenagers. You got your kids, teenagers drinking these drinks. You got teenagers drinking these drinks. So you got to reevaluate what you're bringing in the house. Mm -hmm. Then you have the, what's that other? That's the vital, vital, no, this is the vital one. The vital water. Vital water? 
Okay, eight. Mm -hmm. That's eight grams. Then you got Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is the worst soda you can drink. But that's Nobody. twenty. Just, I don't just, even know why that's, that's still on the market. You could clean your car, clean your toilet bowl with that that one. Where, there. where are those slides at? I'm is, trying to find them now. I don't know what you did these? with them. No, Keep talking. These? Oh yeah, here it goes. Oh. No, I don't need. I just want to see something on this. That's what I was trying to find. But uh, that's it. Look at Mountain I'm sorry, Dew. I knew I was, I was wrong. This is a sixteen ounce can. Sixteen. I thought I was looking for the ounces. I said twenty sixteen. Sixteen. Yes, ounce it can. is. Sixteen. The ounce. bottles are twenty. But All look right. how many calories. That's 280 calories in, in that monster, monster drink. drink. Calories, family. Mm -hmm. Then you got your vitamin water. That's 125 calories, eight teaspoons mm -hmm. of sugar. Mountain Dew is 298 calories and 19 teaspoons. 19.25. Yeah. <laughs> then you got your Snapple. That's 10.5 10 10 teaspoons. That's 11. Teaspoons. If you count these cubes, that's the number of cubes that's in this one bottle. That's the number. Of, that's the amount of sugar in this one bottle. That's how. Then you got your Gatorade, and then you got this other drink on the it's end. It's called here. some kind of what is it? Some kind of I don't know. Say Newton, natural something. Natural something, but it has a it's lot of something. It's not that natural. In it. If it's no, seventeen, no, it's not. In there. Even, for them to even use that word, it's terrible. It, it's it's something. Okay, uh -huh. next slide, sir. Uh huh. Now this look at this. Here. Does this blow your mind or what? This sugar visual <laughs> is brilliant and powerful is something every person on the planet needs to see. So please share this. Exactly. It's on my Facebook page. Look at the sugar content. The one next to the water, that's those little box juices you're that giving the kids. The kids. Drink. And you wonder why their teeth is rotting out their mm -hmm. mouth. Then you have, that look like a pineapple it gold is, juice. A pineapple juice. Then you got a Red, Red Bull. Bull. Then Nestle. you got a Nestle, and then you Coke. got a Coca Cola. This is powerful, people. Look at the amount of sugar, and and, and you can. wonder why Come everybody on. got diabetes. Yep, this think the about this it. Is, this you is wonder adding why to diabetes it. is on the rise and it's not going anywhere. This is why people are so addictive because of this right here. It's addictive. How many family. people do you know that drink sodas? That drink these sweet. You've seen these drinks before. The best one that's up here is this water right here. Yeah. What do you see? You see any sugar in that? No, it's nothing. We just have to make better choices. <laughs> yes, we We're do. not grilling anybody or telling no. anybody stop doing what you're doing but just minimize you're gonna drink a coca-cola minimize it make half a soda and half water if you got to have that fuzz you got to have that little sting in there half and half half and half of the liquid tea half and half of the red bull half, don't drink half and half we can everybody's not this. gonna go cold turkey they just no. not but this oh, is we know they're not this is powerful, but they though. need to know what's causing that problem Absolutely, that's it. Visual is everything. Visual this, is this, this everything. This right here, if this don't start off for you, I don't know what will. There's a movie I want everybody to watch if you have not watched it. The movie is called What the Health. What the Health. You've got to watch that movie, watch it with your children. The other one is Game Changers. Yes. Game Changers. All your 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 lifters, your power, the big, big burgly men lifting and don't eat any meat at all. Then there's the sugar one that Reggie and I were just talking about with Dr. Robert Lusnick. Mm -hmm. That sugar is on YouTube. Go to YouTube, pull up sugar. This is what I do in my free time when I'm not doing anything or crocheting and I'm watching this at the same time. But these documentaries are there. This is stuff that's been documented, but how many people are paying attention to it? Mm -hmm. This stuff is killing us slowly. This is a slow poison, a slow death. But it's getting there. Diabetes, like Reggie said, all these things are on the rise. Mm -hmm. This is why. This is why. So how can we reduce our sugar intake? Okay, glad you asked. You want to swap out your sugar, your soda, your energy drinks, your juices, and sweetened teas for water or unsweetened seltzer. Watch some of those seltzers because some of those seltzer uh, flavor have a lot waters of sugar in it too. got that aspartame in it. So look for yep, that. They are. So you want to drink coffee black or use stevia. This is stevia or you can use monk fruit. That's natural sweeteners. Uh, also, sweeten plain yogurt with fresh fruit, fresh or frozen berries instead of buying flavored sugar loaded yogurt. Most mm -hmm. women, we need the yogurt for the uh, pro, uh, probiotics for your belly and all that is good for you. Da, da, da. Just buy the plain Greek, Greek yogurt, yogurt and add, add your, your own fruit, fruit exactly. to it. The next one, consume whole fruits instead of sugary, of sugar-sweetened fruit smoothies. 
instead eat the whole fruit or get the frozen fruit. All the fruit that I buy for my smoothies are all frozen. Also, replace candy with homemade trail mix. Your fruits, your nuts, a few pieces of dark chocolate, chocolate chips in there. We live off we of sure nuts. We sure do. I took a bag. I finished what I took. I take a bag. I got a bag right now. You got a bag over here. I got we the keep refill. it all over. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lot of nut mix. Get your nut mix. Nuts are good for you. Use olive oil vinegar in place of sweet salad dressings like honey mustard. So I got to start putting a little olive oil in some of my dressings. Also, choose um, marinades, nut butters, ketchup uh, butters. sauces <laughs> with no <laughs> added sugar. <laughs> also, you want to look for cereals, granola, granola bars, mm -hmm. under four grams of sugar per serving. You got to check those grams. Start looking for those, yep, those grams of sugar. Swap your morning cereal for a bowl of rolled oatmeal. Eat oatmeal. That's me. He going to live or to turn into some oatmeal. Or you can top it with nut butter, some fresh berries. Or you can make an omelet with fresh greens. I did an omelet with um, spinach in it. So instead of jelly, slice fresh bananas on your peanut butter sandwiches. I don't think I've ever had that. Or use natural butters in place of sweet spreads like Nutella. Certain things we just need to stay away from. Avoid alcohol beverages that are sweetened with soda, juice, honey, sugar, and agave. Most alcohol family has sugar in it and lots of it. So you want to shop the perimeter of the grocery stores. Focus on fresh and whole ingredients. We used to talk about that all we the time. We did all the time. Focus on preparing healthy meals and limit your intake of foods that contain added sugar sweeteners can help you cut back on the amount of sugar intake in your diet. The U.S. is consuming over 60 pounds of added sugar per year. Hmm. I think it's a little more than that. Safe amounts of sugar per day, 25 grams, that's six teaspoons for a woman, 36 grams for a man, that's nine teaspoons, hmm. and four teaspoons for children. There you go. You hmm. can also buy these dates. These dates, they're very expensive. I didn't know so dates like were that prune. much. Yeah, they look mm -hmm. like prunes, but they're dates. dates. They can be very, very sweet. You can use those as sweeteners. Cut it in half. You could cook with it. You could bake with them. You can do whatever you want to with them. But there's different things you can use. You can swap out one thing for something else. We just have to make better choices. Truly, truly have to make mm -hmm. better choices. So that is going to lead us to our Oh, Let me tell you what you can have, family. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got about that part. What you uh -huh. can have. We're talking about all the stuff <laughs> not to, not I'm to eat. You. I'm going to tell you what Let's you can eat. Let's give a little something what you can eat. Right. And we're going to always talk about those g -bombs. Let me see. What is, what's the list of what you can eat? There it is. That's everything you brown can rice. Eat. That's it. That's no. the list. These are things you can <laughs> eat, family. You can definitely have this. You can have brown rice, mm -hmm. and you can it, it can be unlimited to a point too, because it, it doesn't have a whole lot of calories. Brown rice, sweet, sweet potatoes, potatoes mm -hmm. bananas, all beans. These are your G bombs: your greens, your beans, your, your onions, onions, your, your mushrooms, mushrooms, your berries, your berries and, and seeds. seeds. Mm -hmm. So brown rice, sweet potatoes, bananas, kidney beans, navy beans, red lentils, pinto beans, white potatoes, you can have black beans, red potatoes, oatmeal, mm -hmm. grapes, kiwi, kiwi blueberries, blueberries, apples, apples raspberries, raspberries, cherries, cherries kale, kale, oranges, oranges plums, plums, squash, plums, carrots, 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 corn, corn onions, peaches, broccoli. Yeah, corn is yeah, it's a going to be a hybrid. Yeah. Cantaloupe, strawberries, okra, collard greens, watermelon, cabbages, spinach, mushroom, turnip greens, bell peppers, tomatoes, zucchini, green beans, celery, cucumbers, and water. Hmm. Seasonal. Everything is not seasonal, so try to eat things that's in season. Yeah, try to. And, and organic always, if you can, too. Like, go organic if you can, and then go to the, um, what you call farmer's it? Market. Farmer's market. Support there you the go. farmer's market. So mm -hmm. these are things you need to refrain from right. if you are really looking to change your eating habits and your diets. You know, everybody want to change something for the new year. Avoid all oils. All oils. No, no salad dressings, no cooking oils, nothing. 
Uh, stay away from all junk food. All junk food mm -hmm. is loaded with sugar. It's loaded with salt and it's loaded with sugar. Killing you slowly. Cheeses. Cheese is another one. Cheese is loaded in salt. Mm -hmm. Cheese is dairy. You know, people cut back on milk, but the, the, the consumption of cheese went up. So what is cheese? It's dairy. just hard milk. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> so refrain from too much cheese. Ground beef is another one. Fried chicken. Uh, bread is another one. Bread can be devastating to some, but Especially some people can't bread. live without bread. Yeah, you want stelt bread or... Stelt uh, bread is good, wheat. a wheat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you just got to look around. Yeah. Fried fish, anything fried you need to stay away from. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. That's another one. That's uh, on the fence there. <laughs> So you can also make your own uh, oil-free dressing. Oil-free dressing. Uh, pressed garlic. You got some squeezed lemon in there. You can use orange juice. A diced bell pepper. Some fresh cilantro. Some red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. You can put that on everything. Salt and pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Cayenne pepper. Some ginger and a little Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. Make your own dressing. You can use apple cider vinegar for a dressing sure can. with a little olive oil. You can make your own little dressings on the side, but it's up to you. Find your palate, but take one thing that you're eating and crowd it out for something natural, something new. Just try it. We're not telling anybody to go cold turkey, give up everything all at one time because nobody's going to do Just that. We didn't do it, it either. Just slowly get, getting exactly. rid of it. Use that good and just start fading out the bad. Exactly. And you're going to feel a world a yeah, world of difference. Yep. Um, uh, the, the, uh, cool. Pastor Massey was on the call this morning. Uh -huh. And she was talking about they did the Daniel fast for the church. She said her body felt so good. She just kept on doing it. And that's what you have to do. Get get what you get gangster with your health. <laughs> he always <laughs> say get gangster. Get gangster with your health. And this that's is your temple, so you have to take care of that's it. That's right. Uh, that's how uh, Ed started his diet, mm -hmm. too. He went on the Daniel fast and kept on going, kept on and now going. he's a, a vegan. So you just have to start somewhere, but just start. Start cleaning up that diet, putting better and good things in. Take care of the temple, family. Take, take care, care of, the, of temple. the temple. So that's what we have for tonight. Mm -hmm. But we have, oh, let me tell you, this is a... We get the Costco book. We're Costco shoppers, and we get the Costco catalog. They always send us every every. We so get often. this catalog. It's Costco Connection. In this this magazine for January, they had a whole article on article sugar. on sugar, sugar, sugar intake, life changes, sugar hacks, hacks. <laughs> and they went through a whole thing on sugar. Yep. So I was right on point with that. So you got to just take your health into your own. You do. You really have family. to. You have to. You can't rely on somebody else to do it. You got to do it for you yourself. You can't. And then I have my yeah. sugar detox. You really mm -hmm. have to detox off the sugar because you're gonna go through some things. You can't get that. You can't get right. the Oreo cookies in the house. Somebody gonna get a black <laughs> eye. <laughs> you can't. You can't get them cookies in the house. Somebody gonna get hurt. Get their arm twisted back or something. But just. If you don't bring it in the house, you, you can't eat it. eat it. And don't send nobody else to get it. Come That's on. it. Just try it for a month. If you've months. never watched my 600-pound life, mm -hmm. sit up and watch one of those programs. That'll if that change doesn't your change too. your palate, <laughs> nothing will. That'll change your palate. I call Reggie because I watch it all the time. I call Reggie. Reggie, get in here. Get in here. Will you look right. at this? I don't know how these people manage yeah, the last to one get around. Saw. He was 873 pounds. No, 847. 847? 847. Still eight plus. But he had a, a lymphedema a mass outside of his leg. leg. Mm -hmm. And it just kept growing, kept growing, yeah. kept growing. It he used like it he, as his table when he eats. Yeah, he threw his leg up on the bed and he, he was using his, his lymphedema yeah. on his leg as a table. It's just something yeah. to watch. I hear you, family. Jacqueline. Yep, it is sad. It is. Mm -hmm. It's very, very sad. Yeah. And they go to Doctor Now in Texas. Bless his little heart, because mm -hmm. he is just saving so many lives. Yes, he is. They say everything is big in Texas. He'll take them in. He'll put them on a program. He yep. have a move to Texas, so he can keep an eye on them back and forth, right. back and forth. And they try to get slick with Doctor Now, but, but he's he not having it. No, he's not. He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> 
who is your enabler? Who's mm. bringing you that stuff? So somebody got to bring it yeah. to them because half they of them are, are bedridden. Yeah. So they, and they're constantly, constantly bringing it in. I watched one one day. I just got to share this family. Then we're going to go into our artist product. I watched one 600 pound and they all got girlfriend and wives. So <laughs> don't go get no mm -hmm. BBLs or losing all this weight because all these women and men have husbands and wives mm -hmm. on the 600 pound life. But this guy had his girlfriend, well, his wife, he had to take her on the back porch. You know where I'm going, yeah, with, this, right? going with it. And that's how he would wash her with, up, a, hose. He with a hose, mm -hmm. a hose pipe. He hooked it up to the washing machine so and he had to water. wash her down mm -hmm. on the back porch. That was the saddest thing I ever I'm seen in you. my life. And they filmed it. Yeah. They filmed it. Because they're looking for help, so they don't mind it. But, they but it was just it. something just to say. But we got it. We got to do better, family. And what are they eating? All the stuff that you should not be eating: fast food, processed food. Oh, that's their day. diet for every breakfast, day. lunch, breakfast, dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Not They're just it one in. pizza, bags, three bags, pizzas bags. at a time. They're that they ordering. No, remember the whole family. Wow. The, whole yeah, the whole family, family came yeah. in. They they ordered like twelve pizzas, mm -hmm. but when they got to the house, it was like six. That's Vanessa said she saw that one. You yep. seen that one? It's it's something to see. I'm just telling you, it will just. And it's amazing. It'll you, break you, your you heart. You don't think the body can actually do that no. until you actually see it, that the body can take that much stress, that, that much weight. weight, that much stress on the body itself. It's I mean, it's dangerous. It's truly, truly. And he tells them, too, that you, you if you keep this up, you're going to die. He don't cut no corners. No, he don't. He don't. And it's exactly what's going to happen. And some of them do. There's a couple of cases where he helped them. They, we went through the process, but they didn't stay on it. They went back and to their old right habits yep. and died. Mm -hmm. it happens but you got to get real with yourself you got to you say do. enough you is enough definitely and we do. know that there's a lot going on mental things happening and that's their comfort zone that's their comfort food they, they eat those bad things that makes them feel better something happened but in their life they triggered it and absolutely. they can't stop it or they replace one Indeed. thing with something Indeed. else but it's it's a process it's it a is. balance we all we're all there everybody's you, yeah. my mama said you keep living you're gonna go through something right but it's it just happens it's just life Indeed. So let's talk about our products, right? Yep. All right. The These products have not sir. been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. These products have not been designed to treat, cure, or prevent any types of disease. But all we do know, by our opinion, we do have the best nutritional products on the market. The best. Today. That's why I said the, the best. The best products. By our opinion. On the That's right. So let's have, get to it. We have four products, and I push these products daily. Mm -hmm. They're called the Fantastic Four. For the record, I named them Fantastic Four because <laughs> <laughs> they're fantastic. But the, the Red Levees, all this is is berries that was in the report. The mm -hmm. berries are ready. I see a berry, mangosteen, goji, noni, and pomegranate. Five super berries. It in has this been tried to be duplicated, family, but mm -hmm. nothing can touch this drink right here. Mm -hmm. This product got me off of two high blood pressure medicines, helped to shrink a fibroid. This is mm -hmm. some serious business right here. And here's what's great, that the products, the, the sugars that are in them, they're, they're, it's the natural sugars from the fruits and the berries that's in this product. I'm glad you asked. This has two grams of sugar. Exactly. Two. Under the recommended doses, but two. Hmm. Our green levies. This is our red is our antioxidants and our fruits, mm -hmm. our green are our vegetables Those and veggies. herbs. Vegetables and herbs will clean you out. That's why it's part of the G bombs, greens, beans, onions, onions mushrooms, mushrooms, berries, berries and seeds. Mm -hmm. These are your greens that's going to keep you clean. So that's why the green levies is a bio flow. It that's will right. definitely keep you clean for real. Any issues going on in your gut, that milk thistle regenerates your liver, taking mm -hmm. care of that liver. Most people who can't lose weight has a sluggish liver. You, you need to flush that liver so you can start getting some of that weight off and that green will do it mm -hmm. our next one is going to be our yellow levy the bottle didn't change yet our new bottle should be coming soon right but this is a multivitamin everybody needs a multivitamin whether you're two or 102 everybody needs to be taking a multivitamin period across the board and this product here has everything your body is asking for we called it multi plus in the beginning because they had multi purposes. purposes. Mm -hmm. People putting it in their eye for cataracts. They're mm -hmm. putting it in their hair for dandruff. They're putting it on their skin for, ex facials. for facials, mm -hmm. eczema, eczema. 
putting it in your bath water. You can soak right. your fingernails in it. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. You can put it on top of your body topically and you can it ingest it. You can mm -hmm. drink it hot like a tea. You'll sleep like a baby. But these three, you can all take together. And I want to say something too, that, that yellow Levine, if anyone has suffering with allergies, seasonal allergies, that's your product. I can tell you right now, you know, we're in the new year, 2024. Oh, that's good. Spring is going to be approaching. So I, I, I'm just going to suggest to you to start allergies getting these products in your system right now. Start consuming the product right now to get your immune system and get your body right. So when spring hits, it's not going to affect you. Absolutely. And then our last one is our shield. This is another one of my yep. favorite little babies right here, this shield. With the weather that, that we're having this winter, yep. I don't know what's going on here in Jersey, but it's something going around. We don't know if it's the cold, the flu, or I don't know what's in the <laughs> air. Did report on that? I know. What is it, the cold or the flu? <laughs> but it's something in the streets out there that people are catching, and they sick here in Jersey. I mean, people can't breathe. They're going to the emergency room. I don't know what it is, but I stay shield up. Mm -hmm. This is a powder. Mm -hmm. You can mix it with the rest of them. You can drink it hot. It has another berry in it, that elderberry, mm -hmm. has ginseng, it has zinc, it has your vitamin D3, has everything that your body needs in this product. You can also mix that with those other three. That's why it's called the Fantastic Four. Indeed. Keep your immune system strong. No disease can live in an alkaline body. Sure can. Get That's your a hard body's time trying to alkaline. survive in there. Get your mm -hmm. body's alkaline, family. Alkaline your body. Get your lemon water in the morning. Drink your lemon water before you go to bed. Put some lime in it. Drink your alkaline water if you have to. But you got to get your body in an alkaline state. Nothing can live in an alkaline body. Correct. Most people are acidic. That's why you're sick. That's why they have the issue. Let's clean it up. Because Let's clean that. it that's up. Right. Let's clean that's it up. Right. That's right. So that's, that's right. what we have for you this evening. Now these you products, add yeah, I do want to add these products you just, we just spoke about. Um, if you're not consuming them right now, I would press a pine and get these get products. Get them in your system. Get, get them in your household. Get Recommend them. them to your friends and family and use the product every day. Get Become them. that example of how it worked for you, sort of worked for them, and they can see that change by what you're doing. And it may coach them and may warrant them to want to do the same change because of what you're doing. So let's, let's be the influence on that. Let's be the and one And all we do is use and share. That's all we're doing. Use and share, use right. and share, use and share. And you got to hear some of the testimonies. Yeah. Some of these testimonies like, oh my God, I didn't know it could do that. It could do that too. It could do that too. Yeah. It just you never has know. so many benefits mm -hmm. to just using the product. And that's one thing too. When you put the right things in your body, the body will react. Oh, you'll feel it. You'll definitely it feel it. So family, right. I have another good one for you next week. You do not want to miss new topics next week. The topic is going to be, what did I say? Emergency preparedness. What's I don't know what's going on out here, but something has got my eyeballs itching. <laughs> I don't know if something about to happen, well, going to happen, getting ready to happen. <laughs> I don't know. But we have to be prepared. I say stay prepared so you don't have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. We did do the subject before, once before, but we're going to get more in detail. Oh, on you got, week. oh, family. Yeah. With all of this stuff that's going on in the, in the gotta world here, you got to gotta get ready. Yeah. Get ready, family. Am I here to scare you? I should be. So I don't want I don't want you to miss next week. <laughs> See how much those spider senses is telling right now? I'm telling you, got my eyeballs itching. I'm telling you, my eyeballs is itching. But we want to thank you, family, for being here. As always, here. yes, we do. Please share this out. Don't sit on this information. Sugar is yeah. serious. It's taking people it's out. It's been of here. recorded. You can have it on it's be on the Facebook taking page. Taking people out. We have a YouTube channel. If you have not yeah, subscribed subscribe, to it, please subscribe. subscribe and support the platform. All the videos are going to be posted there as well. So you have it. Uh, so whenever you want to look at it, you can also share with other people. Do that. But support us in that aspect. We're just okay? here to help family. Indeed. We got work to do. It's yes, too many do. sick people out here not to know. Yes, indeed. So if you know better, you do better. So share. That's right. The YouTube channel uh, is The Power Couple of Health there on YouTube. Go. The Power Couple of Health. Let's do it, babe. All right. Well, excellent. Thank you guys as always. Let's have a little drinky drink. Cheers. Read to the everyone. meme all day. Get you right here. We want to thank you guys so much.
But again, please share. Sugar is serious. Very, very serious. Yes, it is. So many people addicted and don't even know it. Well, with so that, that being said, it. we are done. Great report as always. All right, boom. There All we right. go. Let's make it happen, family. So remember, go get your products. Get back with that person who invited you to be on this platform for the first time. Get your products. Call us if you need some assistance with that. You got us information. Let's make it happen, family. We love you guys. As always, you know what? And there's, there's nothing, nothing you, you can, can do about, about it. it. God bless you guys. <laughs> love you. Have a great rest of your evening. How are everybody on Facebook? We want to appreciate you guys yes, on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, family. Too. All right. Thanks, family. Love you guys. See you on the next. Uh, what are we going to say? Where is Wednesday prime time? Yeah. Next Wednesday. Yeah, it's all right. All right. Being prepared. Bye gotcha, now. Gotcha.